In this video, I'll show you how to replace your add to cart button with checkboxes in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are on our test site. And as you can see, I'm currently on my shop page here. We're displaying all our products in this table format. And then we've got this checkbox style add to cart button. So a user can quickly go ahead and enter in the quantity amount in which they want. And as you can see, it's automatically selected. So they can just go ahead and quickly select all the different products in which they're wanting to check out. And then once they finish, they can just click add selected to cart. So it's a super quick and efficient way to add multiple products to your cart at once, reducing the amount of time it takes users to add their products to their carts in just a few simple steps. So if you want to create something similar to this, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download and install the WooCommerce product table plugin. So as you can see, it allows you to create multiple different product tables. So we're gonna be using this particular plugin throughout this tutorial. So once you've downloaded the WooCommerce product table plugin by WooSuite, we'll head back over to our dashboard. And then in your case, you'll just go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the file in which you've just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here assuming you've activated your license key then we'll navigate to product table okay so the second step would be to create our product table in my case i've already created one so i'm going to go ahead and edit the particular product table in which i created earlier so i created this particular table here i'm just going to go ahead and click edit okay and then for the title you can just name it whatever you want it's just for internal purposes only so i'll name mine checkbox add to cart just so i know exactly what this particular product table is for okay so i'm going to skip this step where it says quick order form page so you've got the option to automatically insert this particular product table into your chosen page so i'm just going to leave it blank for now then we go to form information here and then to create our product table, we'll simply drag and drop the relevant columns in which we want. So say, for example, we wanted to add the product name, wanted to add the product image, maybe the product reviews, maybe the stock status. OK, so you get the idea. You just go ahead and drag and drop the required columns in which you need for your particular use case. And to rearrange it, we just go ahead and drag and drop to rearrange it. Since I've already created all this, I'm going to go ahead and X these off. But in my case, I've got the SKU code, product image, product name, product description, the stock status, the price, and also the add to cart button. If you wanted to rename a particular column or maybe add um, extra styling to that particular column, you just go ahead and click this pencil icon here. And then here we can just go ahead and rename this column. Right. And then for the width of this column, we can set it to auto or we can set it to a specific width. And this is in percentage as well. We can also give it a class and this is for advanced styling later on. So once you've made all the changes, you just go ahead and click update. OK, then I'll just X this off. You can go ahead and specify the width and the height of your particular product image. So a lot of these steps I'm just going to skip. So I'm going to focus on the main options in which we need to actually create our checkbox add to cart. OK. So add to cart icon, rename add to cart, I'm going to skip all these. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this bulk add to cart column here. So here for where it says add to cart button display, I've selected um, checkbox only. You can also select the button and checkbox. So you give the user the option to click the add to cart button or just go ahead and use utilize the checkbox option. So I'm going to change this for now just so we see how the button looks alongside with the checkbox option. So for the add to cart behavior, I'm going to select Ajax loading and this just enable a more smoother user experience for the user. OK, for quantities, I'm going to enable quantities. OK, for the variation settings. So we've got a few options here. So we can show the variation settings as a drop down list and we can show it in a separate role. Or if you're using our quick view plugin, you'd get the option as well to um, select a quick view option. OK, so I'm just going to select drop down list. And there's also another option as well in regards to our product variation. So when we go to this tab here where it says bulk variation, we've got the option to enable a matrix style grid. But we've got different videos showing you exactly how to do that. So again, I'm just going to set this to drop down list. So for the add selected products button, I'm going to set this to above the table. You can set it to above and below. Let's go ahead and enable this option, actually. And then we've got the option to rename the bulk add to cart um, button text as well. 
so by default it just says add selected to cart okay so then for our form control okay so the key things are in my case i'm going to use this product table as our default shop page layout just like you've seen in the example earlier but in your case let's say for example you wanted to display products from a particular category then here where it says product condition we'll just click add rule and then we can specify a specific product or we can go ahead and choose categories here and then we can choose to display our products from a particular category. So for example, we can only show um, products within our accessories categories and we can create various um, conditions. For example, we can say products within the accessories categories, but the stock status is let's say in stock. And then this way we'll only show products which are in stock in the accessories categories. So you can create complex rules by using this option here. So I'm just gonna delete these cause I just wanna show all my products on our site in our product table. Okay, so where it says product filters, so we've got an option to disable this, or we can show the filters based on a particular column. So let's say for example, um, we added a category column in this form information here, then it'll automatically um, pick up on the fact that you've, you've got a category column, or it says a tag or a product attributes, and then it'll automatically allow users to filter by those columns. But for more control, I recommend that you use the custom option and then you can go ahead and click on this link to see all the different filters you're allowed to use in this field. So for example, we are, we are displaying our categories filter, tag filter, we can show attributes as well. And we can also add a filter for products which are on sale. Um, hide featured image so you can hide products um, that doesn't have a featured image by en enabling this option so a lot of these again I'm just gonna leave it blank for now okay I'm gonna enable this reset button as well so when a user's selected um, certain filters they can quickly go ahead and reset that selection and for form design okay so I haven't done much here and that's about it but you've got the option as well to disable the table heading you can enable more advanced styling and then you've got this option to enable a custom CSS here as well. For bulk variation, this is how you display your um, pricing matrix. But again, this is for a different video. If you've got loads of products to display on your product table, then you wanna go to this performance settings here. Then you can enable laser load or you can even enable caching as well. Okay, but that's about it for me. I'm gonna go ahead and save these changes. Okay, so that's saved successfully. So I'm gonna head back to our general settings page. Okay, and here's the product here's the product table in which we're just editing. So again, we've got a few options in how we can utilize this product table. So we can copy and paste the short code onto a particular page or a post and it will display our product table. Or if we scroll up here, we've got the option to set a particular product table as the default shop page, um, category page, tag page, and we can also enable a variation table as well. That's for a different video. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select our checkbox add to cart product table to use as our default shop page. So we just click save changes. And then when we view our shop page, we'll now see our new product table layout with our checkbox filter. So let's go ahead and refresh this page. If you remember as well, we enabled the add to cart button as well as the checkbox button. So you can disable the add to cart button as well if you like. So the user can quickly um, filter, um, let's say size. Okay, there's nothing much in that. So we'll just click reset. So that's why that, this reset option here is super handy as well. Okay, we can quickly reset um, the selection. Okay, well, let's say for example, we just wanted to order two of these, maybe four of these and five of these. We can just click the add selected to cart and it'll automatically add all the different products in which we just selected to cart in just one go. And that's how you replace the WooCommerce Add to Cart button with checkboxes in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.